How are you? Did you miss us? Well, stick around because we're going to tell you everything you need to know between now and the end of a year in the next two minutes on this episode of the Toilet Paper Diaries. This is a story that's often been told. It began on a night that was silent and cold. Three shepherds they sat in the warm firelight. No sound had been heard throughout the long night. The clouds parted above them and heavenly light shone down on the three who were frozen with fright. An angel flew down and appeared to them all. He came on a mission, a heavenly call spoke then the angel and they all understood in his voice there was wisdom and all that was good so bursting with courage not heeding their plight they hurried to Bethlehem through the cold silent night hey Dave I am so happy that we are actually returning to the screens because right now we have been out of the eye of the public for the past six months or something like that. So the question is, have you guys missed us? <laughs> well, but don't answer that question just in case I say no. Uh, the amazing thing is I've been out in the outside world seeing people doing gigs and seeing things moving over again. And it's fascinating how much of it is what we came to decide may be the way forward. People are inside, people are outside, there's hybrid and everything's coming together. But what's it going to be like for the rest of the year and the year coming? That's going to be fascinating to find out. Have you got all your presents? Have you been good to Santa? Is Santa going to be good to you, Ernesto? Well, I have to say that it has been quite good. But what actually worries me is the fact that the next year, it's actually pronounced 2022. Oh, my God. Yeah, but that's just on paper. As long as we don't say it like that, we should be all right, he said, lying through his teeth. Well, the thing is, people are saying that COVID in every mutated form is going to be with us until 2024. So you can actually say 2022 and 2023 and 20. We're going to have it for a while. So let's just enjoy what we have. So big shows coming up, Ernesto. Looking forward to sharing with everybody um, the Golden Throne Awards 2021. Do you remember what we did this year? Absolutely. And it's it's exactly one year ago. And we have some of the weirdest things happening. Like we had the Tiger King and we had uh, Rudy Giuliani leaking farts and leaking oil out of his head. And some of the craziest things that happened last year. This year was not as crazy, but there were also a ton of crazy stuff happening. For many, it was a relief to say goodbye to another challenging year. One filled with anxiety, grief, and loss. After the harrowing events of 2020, we were cautiously optimistic about 2021. We deemed it a savior, a return to normal. But 2021 was anything but normal. They've been setting off tear gas in the crowds. The world endured chaos, tragedy, and even more uncertainty. Are going to take this fight? But we kept on going, even as the world burned, and hope seems too heavy a burden to bear. Local municipalities. And we witnessed the inhumane from every corner of the world. What we witnessed was a pushback in action. <laughs> 3,000 refugees. And now, as 2021 comes to a close, we reflect on the defining moments of the last year.
Absolutely, there's people we love, there's people we miss, we had one hit wonders who, who came along, appeared and disappeared again, and we had the most ignored news. Do you remember what was at the top of the most ignored news last time? UFOs. And guess what I did this year? I ignored it again. I don't care. If the aliens want to come and take over, fine, take me with you. Where are we going? Can I bring some sandwiches? So that's the Golden Throne Awards in Estel. So make sure to keep an eye because we're going to be having again the Golden Throne Awards. That was one of our best episodes of the Toilet Paper Diaries. And then as soon as we get into 2022, we're going to go with the 2022 trends. What is a metaverse? Does it already exist? And are you already in it? Let's dig in. Simply put, a metaverse is a digital space inhabited by digital representations of people, places, and things. Think of it like a new version, or maybe a new vision, of the internet. Many people talk about the internet as a place. Now we can actually go into that place to communicate, share, and work with others. It's an internet that you can actually interact with, like we do in the physical world. And it's not just a vision anymore. Right now, you can go to a concert and experience a show with other real people inside a video game. You can walk a factory floor from your own home. You can join a meeting remotely, but be in the room to collaborate with your coworkers. Those are metaverses, and the future is already here. We are going to give you a roundup of all the trends on 2022 at the beginning of the year. So basically, there's going to be two shows coming up, Dave. Can you make a sum up of what's going to happen from now until about, what is it, the first week of January? Yeah, absolutely. So you're going to catch us for Christmas and then we're going to disappear. With this, this is us saying Happy Christmas. We'll say it again in a few moments. Uh, and then you get look, you can look forward to putting it into your diary. We'll let you know with plenty of time when you can go and catch up with us with the Golden Throne Awards for 2021. And then after that, look out, because shortly after, we'll be sharing with you um, the uh, big trends coming for 2022. You've got to watch it. You want to know that we're going into the metaverse, we're going into the universe, and we're also going deep inside in a way that we've never done before. That sounds terrible. That sounds really rude, but it's not. It's all about self-care and beyond. So, Ernesto, anybody who misses that is daft. I can't wait to share those shows with everybody. You looking forward to it? Absolutely. Have an amazing Christmas, and we'll catch you soon before the end of the year and beyond with the Toilet Paper Diaries. You're such an inspiration for my elves, boys. Keep up the good work. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Ho, 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 ho!